Welcome to the Gary Stewart Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Gary Stewart, head coach of the men's basketball team. And coach, this past week you get some solid performances out of one guy, uh, Cameron Hayes, 20 points against Lebanon Valley and 14 against Arcadia at home this week. Our freshmen continue to improve, and uh, Cameron's at the forefront of that. Uh, played excellent, um, uh, I thought, both games. He's, mm-hmm. he's doing a lot of the things that – uh, we're asking him um, uh, to do in practice. Uh, you see that now coming to fruition. Um, he's got a bright future. Another one in that same class, freshman Mark Terrell coming off the bench and contributing a lot. Mark was uh, really good against Lebanon Valley. He uh, established himself down in the interior. Uh, what we like about him is his versatility. He's able to, to uh, play with his back to the basket, but he can step out and uh, stretch the defense because he's a capable shooter from, uh, from three. Yeah, I've seen him step out even in practice and then in the game when he steps out for the three-pointers, it just goes in. It's a wonderful shot. Yeah, he's got an excellent uh, uh, feel for offense, and um, he's uh, uh, certainly capable, and and, uh, we want him to look for those opportunities. And I think one person, again, uh, out of this young class is Ben Weibosch coming off and contributing and now being a starter. Yeah, I think both of our, our uh, Benjamins are playing uh, really well. Um, ben uh, Weibush has uh, given us a real uh, um, push at the start of games with his energy, and he's a, a cerebral guy. He's a uh, very talented, uh, excellent shooter. Um, he uh, figures brightly in our, our future plans. And, and uh, Benjamin Young is, is um, so active and, and runs really well. He's got great hands. Um, his uh, best basketball certainly ahead of him. And we talk about this bench, you know, guys coming off the bench and contributing, but it is kind of a short bench. You guys have been bit by the injury bug this year. Yeah, we have. Uh, started 15 minutes into practice, and and uh, we lost for the season one of our better student athletes in Cameron uh, Harrison. Uh, we've kind of been reeling since. Uh, Ryan Hill is a person that we were leaning on heavily. Um, he injured himself uh, early. Um, has not made it back yet. Uh, Cliff Cornish has uh, uh, struggled with injuries. Uh, we uh, lost Taj Fleming here last week uh, to a knee injury. Um, Elijah Early is uh, a freshman that uh, um, has not played yet, um, working his way back. So we've had uh, several people that uh, figure prominently in what we want to do. Um, get um, banged up a little bit at the start. Yeah, it's tough, but you guys have been able to get contributions across the board for the guys that do get to suit up and, and play. Yeah, yeah, what we've done is um, uh, gone to the next person, and, and um, we've gotten some um, viable um, minutes and, um, and, and great contribution from a variety of people, and, and I hope that that continues. And now let's move into the contest that you guys have coming up. You're off this week as far as a midweek game goes. A comeback against a non-con- non-conference game with Goucher. You guys go to York. Uh, the next five games are all on the road for you. They are uh, in some difficult venues. Um, uh, Goucher uh, uh, played very well last year against us, and uh, we'll have our hands full there. Um, and then York is 5-2 uh, and two and, and playing very well in the Capital Athletic Conference. Uh, we get the Christmas break and then on to Atlanta. And that Atlanta trip will be awfully important, you know, as far as it's a team building experience, no doubt, when you get to do these types of trips. And it's going to be special for the guys traveling to Atlanta. Yeah, it, we really um, look forward to uh, a trip like uh, like this because it um, it offers us a chance to get out of the region and, and see some other competition. Uh, we get to uh, be together uh, morning, noon, and night. Uh, so that's always a good thing. And, and – um, uh, it's very important that we uh, work our way back to where we need to be because conference uh, uh, picks up again in January. Yeah, the second half of the conference schedule is going to be widely important, and these games are going to be able to gear you up for that second half of the contest as you make a push to to get seeded into the Commonwealth Tournament. Yeah, we want to play in thirds, and, and so we've had uh, a third of the year um, now is behind us, mm-hmm. and uh, so we're looking forward to the next chapter. And uh, we talked to the guys after the game on Saturday about uh, not worrying about the blind horse, just load up the carriage, continue to be immersed in improvement, and uh, we're, we're really enthusiastic about, uh, about what uh, the future will bring. Well, Coach, we share that enthusiasm with you and wish you the best of luck uh, in this stretch of road games. We won't talk to you until 2017. Um, that's just the way the schedule's working out for us. But we wish you the best of luck this these stretch of games coming up. 
Thank you, Joe, and happy holidays to you and everybody out there. Same to you and your family and your team's families as well. Thank you, Joe. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been The Gary Stewart Show.